Later this year, they hope to be able to start real tests between a lead truck and one following car. At Volvo Cars in Gothenburg, the new sensor and advanced steering systems have already been installed and tested with extremely promising results. Right now we're building up the first prototype vehicle for a platoon. And as compared to a production vehicle, something which is really new is that we have to steer the vehicle automatically. So the vehicle has to automatically follow the car which is in front. And what you can see here is that we are detecting an object in front of our vehicle and that the steering system is automatically steering the right direction so that we can steer automatically. Communicating wirelessly is, is a difficult subject and uh, depending on the environment we're in, uh, if we're on the road for example or if we're in a tunnel or if we're in a city, uh, the characterization of the performance is going to be completely different. And it's, it's, so, so we start with this very simple environment which is a, a shielded uh, shielded room like this and uh, then we make measurements, other measurements uh, later on and get the uh, characterization of the system and, and, and then, then of course we design the control system for the platoon. Safety is of course one of the most important aspects of this project which is why very stringent demands will be made of the lead vehicle and its driver. The lead vehicle driver should be a professional with additional training for leading other vehicles in a platoon. The driver will be supported by existing safety technology such as AlcoLock, driver alert support and electronic stability systems that support driver attention and minimise accidents. In addition, Volvo Technology is now working with the development and installation of different types of aids that will further increase traffic safety. So we have a, a video camera here mounted in the dash which is looking at the driver's face. <clears throat> and we also have infrared lights in there to provide even illumination across different external lighting conditions. Uh, then we have a computer which is processing the images um, <clears throat> and trying to track your face. It tries to measure the orientation of your, of your head. For example, we have a driver monitoring system from another European project called Habit, which detects if the driver get distracted from traffic. Uh, Based on these driving support systems, we help the driver to lead the platoon in a safe way through the traffic. But researchers also believe that it will take a long time for motorists to accept and really trust that this new technology is really safe. You, you need to, to rely on a system. Your life is in the hands of the system, not in your, your own hands. So, from my point of view, I think that we need a lot of time to, to educate or to train the people and, and, uh, that, uh, and to, to, um, to find a, that they uh, accept the, this kind of systems. Even if researchers already know that it is completely possible for cars to communicate wirelessly with each other in this way, they are also very aware that it will take at least another 10 years probably much longer, before the rolling road trains become a reality. I think there's an enormous potential in this project. I think um, the concept of platooning in one form will appear in, in several years from now. But already in shorter term, I think we will see spin-off effects where we can have cars drive autonomously. For example, in low speeds, in traffic jams, where the car can autonomously follow the car in front of you.